Good morning, everybody. Today's Wednesday, two days before Christmas. Hi, everyone. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. I have to leave my phone on. My husband is out and about Christmas shopping, and undoubtedly he's going to want to know more details about his list. Um, this is going to be a problem-solving video. Couple problems. This is the cover that I want to use in the Journal to be Inspired, Journal to Inspire project. Couple things. A, this paper has got to be sealed or covered or something. I played with it yesterday, started getting my cover together. Then I went downstairs and washed up and made enchiladas, and I swear the enchiladas glittered. So, this paper doesn't lose its glitter, but this is leaving glitter everywhere, and that will drive me nuts. I don't, I don't want that, but I want, I want this for a base. So I'm going to go ahead and use it, struggle through the glitter for now, and then I'm going to seal it with something. I don't know what yet. However, I'm really struggling so let me tell you what's in my brain not all of it just for this part <laughs> I want there to be some hidden pockets so I want this to be a pocket this is a manila envelope okay and I cut it because it wasn't gonna fit size wise so I already have this opening here right so I want to keep that okay this is the flap, so I want to be able to flap that over. Maybe because this is so thick, I'm thinking these are going to kind of struggle to clasp it, so I may put magnets here, which would mean I need magnets here. And then I was going to put a pocket here, but I think not. But I am going to put a pocket here in the back. Okay, so now this is where I get lost. And this will be a pocket too. But I want it I want it sewn or glued or something here. So I turned the camera on because I thought it might be useful. You know, people post on the Facebook sites all the time, how do you make a cover? How do you make a cover? I don't think there is one way. I think you decide kind of what you want and then you start it and then you go with the flow. So this is kind of changing. So I'm trying to figure out now, one of the problems I'm having is you can see the manila envelope. So, and I know I'm probably going to have fabric and all kinds of stuff on top of this. So this is not going to stay just this, uh, this, uh, what is that? Baby blue? I don't know what that is. It's a beautiful color, but, but I was just looking at this and saying, okay, Carol, you've got to, if these are going to be pockets, when you put this up, you're going to see in there. And that's going to be a mess. So, at the risk of forgetting how I did this, <laughs> ooh, I'll have it on video. I'm going to set this over here. And I'm going to cover this with something. Doesn't have to be something super special or expensive. Even coffee dyed paper would work. I'm looking around. Um, <laughs> so let's see, maybe I could use this. This is going to go over, but I can only use that much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not going to. This will go all the way down, so that's good. But that's not enough to steal to put. Or is it? If it's... Gosh, it really is. Okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not going to trust my cutter. This is the only piece I have. of this kind of this black and gold so I hope I cut that right 
Now, if I did cut it right, whoa, that's not even close to straight. If I did cut it right, this should fit here. No, no, see how easy it is to get messed up? I don't know if I want all this bulk. I do want this book to be really thick. Okay, that would solve that problem. But I really don't need it here because I'm going to sew it. So I could take this off and put it right here. Leave this because this is going to be a pocket going down. But take this off because there's no value in it. Well, mm, yeah, right? Oh, geez. I'm going to do it. Okay, so that's about the middle-ish. Okay, so <clears throat> this can go here in this pocket, under here, because my pocket is going to be down there, so it'll look It'll be beautiful all the way. I could even trim that up. Okay. And then this pocket here, I've got this, so it will cover that. And now let's see if I cut that right so that I still have this. Hmm. It looks to me like I got lucky. But I need to, that needs to be, because it's a pattern, I want to... I want to straighten this up. Yeah. Yeah, let me get my scoreboard. It's the only way I'll get it right. So have you all started on your cover for the Journal to be Inspired project? I keep calling it Journal to be Inspired. It really is the Journal to be Inspired, but that's not the title. It's Journal to Inspire, I think. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, is it cut straight? No. So let's cut it. We know we do have, I do have a little bit of extra. I want it to be straight because it's a pattern and that will bother me. So, I re-threaded my sewing machine, I got my book, my manufactured book that came with the machine, I keep throwing stuff to the right and I've changed my, my um, trash can to the left, it's driving me nuts, okay, so that does, hmm, that's not straight, is it? Nope. What happened? See, I can't seem to get it straight even with the scoreboard. This is so hard. I've got something going on with my eyes and I actually have been seeing double constantly. <laughs> and it makes things... Oh, I can see there's a little well right there. Okay. I should have pulled out my little cutter. The blades I bought for this little Cricut aren't the right ones. They don't fit, so. <clears throat> I took it all apart and cleaned the blade, bleh, cleaned the blade, but really needs new blades. Okay, I'm gonna say, I don't know how much that is, three quarters of an inch. Mountains or valleys, valleys or molehills, mo yeah. Valleys are mountains, so is that right? Let's see. 
So have you started on your cover? What are you going to do? January 3rd will be the first prompt. Don't feel pressured or anything, but just show you know, so you know. And I, we had talked about making it every Sunday. I think, I think that's great. A lot of people, those are the days they craft, is on the, on the weekends in between work, if you're working. Oh my gosh, that's not straight. I can see that even with double vision. What I care about is this. That looks okay to me. I can't get too far away from this cover or I'm gonna forget what I've done. What my eye what my what was in my brain. Okay. So now here's where if you're a sewer and you are familiar with using a pattern, that is such a blessing. And I do not have that gift. I don't see three-dimensional. I don't... My brain doesn't work that way. So this is difficult for me figuring out where to sew now and where to glue. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. So this has to be sewn. this part right here to the center. Down the center needs to be sewn. And here needs to be sewn. Right? Oh Lord. Now, if I do that, where's my magnet going to be? Probably in here. So I may want to lighten up on this Okay, what value is that? It makes a nice entry. Okay, I see that. But do I have to have all of that? I think I could take it off here and replace it this first entry point and just use Make sure that my flap is covered here. Okay. Right? <laughs> we may not be using this paper because if I mess it up, I don't have any more. Okay. So if I take, if I just cut this right here, this can be used here. Oh, I wish you could answer me. I'm going to do it. Here we go. I just don't think the magnets will work. And I, I really want to put magnets in here. Cutting this stuff is, is really different. It really does feel like cloth. There was probably a more graceful way to do that, but... Okay, so now... I want to get that just a little straighter. I don't even know that I need... I don't need this. I have to get rid of as much bulk as possible Especially if this glitter has metal in it. I wonder if that's going to mess stuff up with a magnet. Hmm. That's a thought, huh? Okay. Now, could I put the magnet just, yeah, under here? Okay, so say I have the magnet there. It's going to go like this, so I would need a magnet here, no, there, and there. So, oh, I can see this is going to tax my brain. Let me get my magnets. Where are they? 
Oh, I just picked up magnets. Where did you put them, Carol? Okay, so I bought these on Amazon. I saw them on um, uh, Eve was using them on scrapbooking with me, and she has them in her shop, uh, but she's out, or she was when I went shopping. I think I'm going to use large. Uh, they're just called basic gray combo magnets that's what they're called you want to see and like i say they they come in this comes in one pack i just opened it for the first time and i picked up two packs because i didn't understand for sure whether they came with what they came with all right i think i'm done with my scoreboard so let's be gone with you yeah, when I cleaned, I moved stuff around, and I don't like it at all. All right, let's think this through. If I put a magnet under there, I need to have it as close to the surface as I can. This is going to go here. I can't forget that. All right? This is going to go under here. I can do all that in a minute. But before I cover this, I need to put my magnet in, I think. Well, this is a really, really ridiculous way of packaging these magnets. Once I get this open, what in the hell am I going to do, or <clears throat> pardon me, what in the heck am I going to do with these to keep them from just being a mess? Carol's not strong enough to get it out. Oh, there's a... Well, this is just silliness. What am I going to do with these once I get all this paper off? Okay. Fine. I do. Hey, I love the minus and plus signs, though. Thank you very much. There's a positive. Let's see. So we want a positive with a negative, right? Yeah. Okay. So here's a positive. So if I put it here, that's the least. Okay. Can you tell this is hard for me? I want to get this glued down first. Because I do need it. I don't need it all the way to the edge. But I need it to cover. I'm going to leave them. Let's just see if it, if it will work. Where are you at, little guy? How about right? 
right there and right okay let's see here will you work if there's two of them yep okay let's keep them apart okay it's gonna work so let's glue it down This paper is so beautiful, it, and it's really um, easy to fold and crease and all of that. Is that right? Yeah, well, I need to creep, so I need to glue this down too, right? No, yes. Jeez. But not that. You took it too far, Carol. There you go. Okay, now. is really a challenge. Part of it is because I wanted the option of changing my mind, I didn't cut this paper. I just folded it and then I got it all clipped and I wanted to sit overnight and then come back and look at it and see if I could make sense of it, you know. So that's part of what's making it a little difficult to... Okay, so we have that glued down. This is going to be sewn. So this will be our pocket. Yep, yep, yep. Do I need that to go to the edge? Why did I... Why did I do that? Oh, it creased with the... Yeah, this. I don't think I need to do that, so we're going to leave it like that. Okay. All right, I believe that. Now, let's put a magnet in. Under this, right? I am going to put just a little bit of, whoa, I put a little acetone in there as per Martha Manigro's suggestion. Apparently it's working. Okay. I do know that it's going to be very important to wait until the glue's dry because these magnets seem like they're pretty darn strong. Because that's metal, I'm gonna glue, no, oh, wrong one. Let's see, green is white, no. Oh, geez, I had a pattern a while ago, but I've trained, uh, traded him a few times, so who knows now. Okay, now I'm going to take the white glue I may end up tearing this all apart I think I'm still going to punch that hole. We'll see. Okay. Now, this does not need to be covered because it's going to have that, right?
this is going to go all the way down and up like this. That's true. So do it where so the magnet is just going to go on here. Oh, you guys. Okay. Look at that glitter. Can you see it? I don't want a cloudy finish, so I'm not sure what I can put on this. You know, there's no sense in doing it now because a lot of it's going to be covered up. So I'm just going to seal whatever you can, whatever I'm going to be handling. All right, where's my magnet? That's not right. It's got to go like this. Hmm. Hmm. So this has to go like that, and this is going to have to glue under. Yep. which we know won't be a problem because we tried it out. So it's got to go right here. That's not going to work because this has to slide through. Mm-hmm. Did I do it backwards? I think I did. I should have turned that the other way. Okay, so we have to fix that. So it goes right here. I did do it. I think I did the, ba the magnet backwards. So it's got to go right there. And then I'm going to have to put something over it just a patch so that nothing bothers it but it, I don't want a little one let's let's make it substantial I hate to be using this paper for patchwork but is that going to leave me enough let me see yeah barely maybe I won't use that maybe I'll use this okay this is me thinking out loud. I still don't, I'm not convinced I'm doing this correctly, so. Until I'm done, don't follow me. <laughs> Genevieve, uh, of Genevieve Design, she uses a lot of magnets. Actually, so does Eve at uh, Bohemian Crafting, if you're interested in doing it the right way and having it be easy. Mm, Uh-oh. Nope, it doesn't stick at all. So what have I done? Don't stick, we're not done with you yet. So it goes like this. So this would go up. Hmm, it's just not strong enough. Okay, so if I put that there, does it stick? Nope. Oh, that's the wrong way. So if I put it there, does it stick? Yep, it does, okay. All right, fine. We'll do it your way. Mm. 
Now that's going to have to sit and dry because if I mess with it, I don't think we'll get all the glue off and everything. Okay, I'm still working on trying to figure out this microphone. I've watched a couple YouTube videos. But I'm still not figuring it out. So I have a couple people that can help me. So I will reach out to them. But not right now. Okay. Oh, that was hard. Now, what about this one? There's a positive. There's a negative. So do I do negative, negative, and positive, positive? Is that what I'm doing wrong? It is. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I'll play your silly game. Okay, so this then. Wait a minute. Let's do this right. If I put this down and then this up, oh my gosh. If my husband was here, he'd be laughing hysterically. This is going to go up. Right there. This is going to go down. Sounds like he's home from shopping. I really hated, oops, the idea of him going out, but we really needed to get a gift for his mom, so we just made a game plan, so hopefully it was super fast. This is not the way to do this. I already know it's too clunky. but this is how it's happening, so. Well, this one's definitely working. It's not glued down, though. Okay, yikes. Mm, didn't do it right. Hmm, too much paper maybe? I could put it there if I put something over it. I'll have to do that. <clears throat> I 
and the same with this one. So they're both going to have to have something on them. Shoot! I don't know what. This one, I can put anything on. Because it's not going to show. Okay. That's going to be covered, so don't worry about that. But this... How come I can't get it to stay? That's an awful thin piece of paper. What am I doing wrong, guys? What am I doing wrong? I'm going to try it again. Oops. Oops. Wrong side, kid. Wrong side. I wonder if the glue has anything to do with it. I gotta get my head away from this journal because it's got me all discombobulated. So I'm gonna put a spacer in there. And I'm gonna leave this like that. Nope. I'm gonna take, yeah, just one layer. This has gotta go underneath, so. Jeez, what a pain. Okay. Nope, oh, that won't work. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. Oh, that's not going to work. See if that'll work. Sorry, guys. I hope I'm. I hope you can hear me. Actually, I'm not saying anything of any value. So, if you can't hear me, you're not missing much. Isn't it beautiful that all of this? Look how messed up it is and everything. But see, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? paper. Okay, what about now? Nope. Well, that doesn't even make sense. This is so frustrating. Why doesn't that work? I don't understand. Is it the metal? They're in the right spot. Where'd it go? Okay, it holds. I don't get it. Okay, so this goes here. It has to hold. If I glue it right there, it has to hold because it held just a second ago. But what if I cover it up? because it's going to have to be covered. So what if I have it covered? Will it hold? Sort of. So it is the paper. Shoot! Well, it holds a little. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. 
So this would go like that. This would go like, mm, I might have to match that later. Mm, maybe, maybe I could do this. Yeah, okay. I don't think it was worth it. If I had to do this again, I think what I would do is I would get the journal done and then put the magnet on and cover it with like a little, I don't know, something. This isn't worth the hassle to me. Pretty good patch job though. <laughs> Okay, I gotta let this sit, guys. There, and I, I don't wanna mess with the journal, so I'm gonna call this a video. Phew, I gotta go have some coffee, at least. <laughs> Yikes, that was really hard. Okay, this is the ugly duckling stage that's gonna be a swan. Promise, one way or the other. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back probably later today after the glue dries. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.